Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Abiotic Factor. Now this one is described as a survival crafting experience set in the depths of an underground research facility, caught between paranormal containment failure, a military crusade, and chaos from a dozen realms, the world's greatest minds must survive against the universe's biggest threats. So, ready for your first day? Uh, yes sir I am. Now I saw a little bit about this one and it looked really interesting. There was survival elements, crafting, uh, almost base building. There was a little bit of a horde element where it seemed like it was kind of like seven days to die. And of course the whole graphics style is, well, it's old school. And I thought that was really cool and I really want to try it out. Now this is just the demo, so I don't know how far we're going to be able to get, but if we have some fun, hopefully we can turn this into something more long term when this game fully releases. All right, you can exit vehicles and chairs by pressing jump. Okay. All right, well, see you later, buddy. Okay, where are we at here? Uh, out in Nevada or somewhere. You can jump over obstacles. Yes, of course, let's get through all this. All right, looks like we gotta enter the shack. Anyone home? Hello. Uh, goodbye. Oh, he let me in. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, he didn't. Oh, there we go. Well, hello, Jackson. Okay, you're the transfer, huh? Yes, sir. You sure picked a day. Things a bit hectic downstairs this morning. Just, uh, just grab your gate, pal, there. It'll help you get sorted. All right, we are definitely not in Nevada. It sounds like we're in Australia. Let's pick up the gate, pal. Apparently, it's our little iPad. All right, we can open up the journal, view your objectives, etc. Your journal notes are stored by location. Click on a location in order to view your notes, okay? All right, I'm guessing we have to go down here. Radiation. When you encounter radiation, you will see small speckles or dots in your vision, increasing in intensity with the radiation strength. A little won't hurt, but long-term exposure will harm you. If you're seeing dots or spots, you should get out of the area or acquire protection. Okay. Well, I'm guessing we should be looking for protection. Where, was there anything up here? I don't think so, no. All right. Probably got to go talk to the... Really? J just the entrance for some reason is radiated? <laughs> okay. All right. Hey, Tracy. Morning. Lift's down there. But first, you need a hard hat. Health and safety and stuff. Grab that <laughs> one. Stuff, okay. And chuck it on. Throw that on. You've got what you need. Head through the gate to my left, down to the elevator. It'll take you down to induction. All right, see you later. It was nice meeting you. All right, let me check my inventory really quick. So we've got some slots here. We've got our hot bar. And it looks like we can equip different types of armor, a shield, full body suit. I'm guessing that's like a hazmat suit. And this is our character. I made this guy. He is absolutely perfect, very handsome. And he looks just like me. But anyway, let's keep moving. Looks like we got to use the elevator here. And guess we're going down. See you later, Tracy. Welcome to the Gate Cascade Research Facility. You are in the induction wing. All right. The facility is currently at alert level precautionary. Please Doesn't sound great. And follow all security. Oh my gosh. Now arriving at... So that up there almost looked like a little greenhouse, and I'm pretty sure we can actually build a garden ourselves indoors. Uh, hold open the emote wheel and wave or page the guard. Uh, all right, greet. Hello. Hey, new transfer. Uh, I got pulled in from surface duty. The usual lady, she got called out to help downstairs. Happens. Chaos is kind of our thing around here. You seem a bit antsy. Just wait. I'll unlock the gate in a second. I am. Let's get going. Now, I've never run someone through this, but it looks pretty straightforward. Coming from the Springer facility, you'll know the basics, but since we deal with specimens directly, everyone on staff has to know basic ECP. Uh, that's emergency containment procedures. All right. Okay. Thanks, Bruce. Uh, Let's get now, going. I have some instructions here that aren't really compatible with the current security situation around here. So we're just going to improvise a bit. Uh, bear with me. I'm going to have you crawl through that vent down there. <laughs> okay. Consider it like chasing down an escaped specimen 
you got a big brain, you got a big imagination, right? Sure. Okay. Where, what vent? Uh, I don't see a vent anywhere. Can I go through the door now? No. Oh, this door. Okay. Work smart, use it or lose it. Oh, see, that's another thing. Facility power systems offline at night. I saw something about that, and it sounds like, yeah, it, it just kind of shuts down at night, which sounds terrifying because we're underground and there's no lighting. Go through the vent. Um, where was that vent at? See one in there. Can't jump up there. So we can't, oh, we can use the ladder, okay. Let's grab this flashlight. Let's dismantle this vent. Ooh, can we search this? Yes, we can. Um, got a pipe wrench and another pipe wrench. Don't know how many we'll need, so we'll take both. If there's something in your way, because I put it there, uh, <laughs> there should be a tool down there. Something you can smash the crate with. How you about might a have pipe to wrench? Around a bit. And don't worry about smashing stuff. Like, we... We we have a lot of we got a lot of crates, a okay. lot of crates. Thanks, Bruce. That's good to know. So I'm guessing we can get yeah a bunch of loot from these things. Just picking up scrap right now. Let's grab this, that, that, and that. Is that the only thing we can get from these boxes? Looks like it. I'm wondering if there's probably going to be more stuff. Oh, Is that Bruce? It's Bruce. Damn radio's acting up. There we go. Ugh, all morning. All right, where were we? They want you to capture a creature. Uh, the lady who's supposed to do this, That's she took a creature? all the nets downstairs with her. Uh, look around, maybe you can make one out of something. Okay, so we can craft up a net here. Uh, let's craft up five of them, I oh, guess. Okay, I, I was just thinking I'd grab like a plastic bag. You know what? This. Let's get this a bandage. Is why we're, we're gonna need one. The jobs we do here at Let's Gate. make a couple, actually. Uh, go ahead and throw your fantastic net on the dummy. Nice! Look you at that. Some athleticism in there? Uh, somewhere? Uh. Now, real creatures might wriggle out of that one, but uh, that's not a real creature. So, next step is um, special containment, isolation, washing. This guy doesn't know what he's He's reading off a manual. You know what? Just stomp on it. Oh, I can do that. <laughs> oh, brutal. <laughs> I'm bleeding. Uh, okay, so next up. Uh, what's going on with your leg there? Looks to me like you're bleeding. Uh, I'm on top of it, Bruce. Look, Don't worry about okay, it. Okay, you did that way cleaner than I would have. You would, wouldn't you? You're going to fit right in down there. I know, I'm pretty good at this. Looks like you can walk on it all right. Uh, let's head you on through to the next room. Feel free to mosey. I've got to check some stuff out. We got, we got some weird crap going on today. Not going to lie to you. <laughs> Bruce is uh, very laid back, very open about what's going on. I appreciate it. Let's talk to, well, let's check out the email first. All right, Jane, what's this I'm hearing about an investigation into our security? Has anyone spoken to you about it? This is definitely not my email. I'm definitely reading someone else's. Anyway, relax, Richard. It doesn't concern anyone in your sector. It's the labs team. You know how they are. Always scared someone's leaking information. Man suggested the executive committee thinks that someone may be monitoring our data network. I thought that was impossible. Okay. Fungus. Hey, you asked me to get in touch with any applications, materials, something about penicillin. Look like tap water. I reviewed the report. You're cleared for phase two. Someone needs to go back in there. We need more samples. The silo two systems are online. Should be fine. I'll talk to TR. Okay. Well, let's talk to this guy. Dr. Apparently. Derek Mance reporting. Research Director, Gate Cascade Research Facility. After yesterday's fiasco, I've made a formal request to extend General Ordo Anomaly storage immediately. We requisitioned IS-113 only to discover that some effect from 221 had turned it permanently blue. I've made it clear okay. to Anderson. He, he's going through some backstory. I'm sure it's really Ordo interesting. May be can we... Oh, I have five bucks. I can buy a snack. Jam them together like sardines. Well, let's go with farm puffs. And there we go. Does that show us what we get? Okay, we get hunger fill 20. So there is food, I'm guessing, in water. Because I thought I saw something about being able to craft a water bottle too. I don't see exactly where it shows our food. I see our health in the bottom left. 
Oh, we can check the time. It's 12.40 p.m. March 15th of 1993. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and go to the next room here. So, I'm betting they didn't have these. Bruce, how are you getting to it all these places? Here, all gate staff at Cascade need to understand the facility's unique power system. It goes into a lot of detail only an egghead would want. Uh, no offense. Every power socket here comes with its own little extension cable, and we build everything purpose-built for those sockets. So what you're gonna do, you need to package the heater, place it back down near the power socket, and then... Okay, now I know that was a lot. I I'm getting some weird interference on my radio. I'm gonna leave you to the whiteboard down there. You might need a screwdriver. I'll get back to you in a minute. Okay, I'm sure that's nothing out of the ordinary that he's got to deal with. But anyway, we got to grab the screwdriver, which uh, we did. Station three, Heck, what, what's going on? Over. I'm Bruce. I'm reading. Station three, uh, station two. Deploy the heater near the power socket. Build the heater. Grab the power cable from the power I'm socket. A lot of chatter. Bruce. He's still running some kind of shady op again. I didn't see a bolt. Okay. Just, uh, We're gonna use a screwdriver a, right a here. Here. Pick up the heater. Power okay, socket. Just let me know if it's any GKers coming my way. They and then what are we gonna do? Over. We gotta deploy the heater near the. Oh, we gotta put this down. Um. Right here's fine, I guess. Let's grab that power socket again. Can we just connect it? We can. Did I just? I think I messed it up. I think I need the screwdriver. Oh, here we go. And boom. I'm a real handyman, Bruce. What do you think? Nothing? Okay. Well, let's connect this. Hey, nice work plugging in that plug. Uh, we're done here. There's some stuff on this list, but I, I don't reckon you're going to need it. That's why you've got people like me around. Keep you safe. Looks like I got to check on some situation topside. So, yeah, head to the elevator. It'll take you down to residences. Real cozy stuff. Oh, did we uh, get our own room? Here says you're looking for a Dr. Can. Er, Con? Uh, it sounds familiar. Um, I guess he's in charge of the rest of your orientation. Okay, All good, because right. you're kind of a mess, Bruce. To science. All right, let's well, go through the door. One of us, anyway. He's a, he's a chit-chatter. Geiger counters recommended in this area. Okay, more radiation. All right, let's head down even further. Attention. This and it's already 2 p.m. Safety broadcast. You are currently en route to residence level seven. Due to an active security situation, advanced safety precautions are in effect. This elevator will be redirected to offices level one. Please remain in place and wait for security team assistance. Well, that doesn't sound good. Okay, so it looks like now we actually get to select some of our traits. Um, so we can be a lab assistant, biomedical engineer, kinesiologist, did I say that right? Structural engineer, plant geneticist, nutritional advisor, theoretical physicist, defense analyst, and summer intern, okay? So, oh, so with summer intern, you start with 12 points? So I'm guessing that's kind of what they want you to do. Oh, wait, no, hold on. What if I'm the lab assistant? I get plus three sprinting, sneaking, and some strength. Okay, so they all obviously have their own traits, which makes sense, but I wonder if it's worth selecting one of these that have the added perks, or if I just go with the summer intern and then we can kind of customize it more. Well, let's go with the lab assistant. I like the sprinting and sneaking and strength. Um, I'm probably gonna need to do a lot of running and hiding, so that sounds good to me, but I wanna check some of these, they have better agriculture, cooking, sharp melee, throwing, reloading. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's go with lab assistant. And then here we've got all of the traits that we have and they have the cost here on the side. And these are the positive traits and we've got negative traits. Interesting. We've got narcoleptic, you grow fatigued 75% faster than others and you'll never feel truly rested. It's a constant part of your life. Oh, fear of violence. It affects your accuracy, reloading, all that stuff. Um, I don't like this, but I guess if we use the negative traits, it's gonna give us more points to spend on other things. Apparently there's a weak bladder. You can't hold, okay, apparently you do need to use the restroom in this. 
because your toilet needs are increased by 15%. And you have to sit on the toilet for a longer duration than others. <laughs> Uh, we get a point for that. I say we use wrinkly brain meat, which gives us 20% more XP than normal. And now we have six points. I'm gonna add buff brainiac, which gives us 15% more carry weight and one strength. And then I'm gonna take a negative trait of dry skin. So we get thirsty 20% faster. So we have a total of five points. And then I'm gonna take decathlon competitor, which gives us plus three sprinting and we gain all fitness related skills at a faster rate. So let's go ahead and finish. And yes, I'm ready. Okay, here we are. We're down in the office I because apparently something went wrong. It. And I lost all my stuff, oh no. Well, hi, Dr. Thu. Uh, you're stuck here too, eh? Not I for long. I'm gonna bust out, you coming with me? For a coffee. Now I'm locked in here for God knows how long. It'll be those fools on level three over without All right, I'm gonna let him keep game. talking. Do we have any money? We have five bucks. Let's grab a drink and a snack. All right, I don't know what you're saying, Dr. Thule, but apparently we have to go to the cafeteria. What about over here? Can we grab anything from storage, maybe? Some duct tape. What's this? Calculator. Don't know what we can use that for. We can go in that vent. I know we're supposed to go to the cafeteria, but we're we're busting into the vent. Uh oh, there's nothing really. Can we get up there? No. There's another vent here. Ooh, this one goes places. Cloth scrap, duct tape, smart. That didn't sound good. Let's keep moving though. Oh. There's enemies in. Okay, maybe I'm not ready for this. Maybe I go to the cafeteria. Maybe there's a weapon or something in there. Okay, we can't get in that way. Maybe we do have to go through the vents. Let's check out the bathroom. Janitor's closet. Oh, we'll take that chef hat and papers and cloth. Can we put that hat on? We sure can. Now we're cooking. All right, so we've got a toilet here. I don't, okay, so it says I don't need to do that. I don't know how to tell when we need to actually go. Trash bin here, we've got some paper scrap. Can we, oh, require screwdriver to package. I don't have one yet. Anything else? Just more toilets. I don't think I'm supposed to be in the women's room right now. Oh, here we go. We've got a splint. Healing syringe, bandage, and iodine tablets. Let's take everything. Okay, so we need to get into the cafeteria. I'm guessing there's another vent we've got to go through. I don't see anything over here. So, yeah, I'm willing to bet we have to go through storage. Okay, let's go. Okay, here we are. Uh, I think I'm going to try and sneak past these guys because I don't have any way to attack them. I don't know if we can punch... Oh, there's a power socket. Okay, and we're gaining XP for sneaking right now, too. This guy's got to be dead, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> he was in for a little bit of a shock. Okay, let's close that door. I don't know if those guys can open up doors or not. Can't search that box. Here we go. We may want to call or craft some throw nets for self-defense. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that really quick. Let's craft three of them. Um, what else can we do? We can craft a splint. Oh, a crafting bench. What do we need for that? We need duct tape, metal scrap, which we got from the vents, giga glue, a power supply unit, and a metal pipe. Drag the correct ingredients from above. Wait, what? Wait, hold on. Okay, it says you need to invent this item's recipe before it can be crafted. Drag the items into the correct slots and let your brain do the work. Is that it? No, but apparently one of them was. Interesting. Try the pipe there, the duct tape there. There we go. Okay. Pretty cool. So we need duct tape, power supply unit, and metal pipes. All right, well, let's try and capture this guy. 
Haha, <laughs> look at that. And stomp him out. Hopefully we don't get hurt. And we get bio scrap from that. Um, unusable door there. Another vent. Let's pick up that cloth. Okay, which vent do we go through? I guess this one. Oh, here we go. Screwdriver, I'll take that. All right. Oh, here we go. This is not in the cafeteria yet, but it's where we got to go. So let's keep moving this way. Um, can we kick out these bars or something or use a screwdriver on them? No. Oh, you can dismantle certain objects in order to find more crafting supplies. So it looks like we can probably dismantle those. Oh, we'll probably get pipes from that. Well, uh, let's try and jump down and dismantle. And we get three pipes and a pressure gauge. Oh, hold on. I did not see that guy there. Let's try and trap him. Oh, I missed. Okay, good thing I made an extra one. Stomp him out. Grab our net back. That's nice. We can get him back. Let's go ahead and dismantle that. Grab the parts. And there we go. Um, can't see anything. Guess more pipes. And I think that's... Oh, there's a door. Flashlight will take that. Well, we're going to spy on someone's email again. Hey, Mer, I'm looking for a gift for a friend who loves cooking. Uh, any thoughts? They want to be a chef? Give them a knife. Until you chop it up, you can't cook it. Cooking.jpg. Oh! <laughs> so I guess we can learn recipes from emails. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, what else we got going on here? We can make a shiv. Hold on, let's actually see. Can we do that yet? We need pens. Pens and duct tape. That is very loud. Something bad apparently is happening. Okay, hold on. Oh, we got this guy. Let's see if he can open the door. I don't think he can. He's right on the other side. Let's get our net out. Open that up. And you're dead. Oh my gosh. I was just trying to get some pork chops. Okay, I missed. I missed the... Oh, there we go. So there's another power socket in here. Don't know what... Oh, here we go. Let's grab that knife. Let's put that knife down here. Let's take it out and let's keep moving. Here we go. First aid. Take everything from there. Let's try and fight this guy. Okay, he's actually pretty tough. Can we cut him up? We can. Rob has pick this up to potentially get new ideas. Oh, I'm cold. Oh, because I'm in a freezer. Hold on, let's pick this up. Uh, my inventory's full. Let me get out of the freezer because I'm cold. Uh, can I drop anything? Can we cook or eat this? So I don't know if that did anything for us. I don't, I don't know where the stats are. Maybe right here? Okay, so we're well fed, not thirsty, nothing urgent for the bathroom, not tired. We are a bit cold. And we've got the chef hat. You give corpses a bit faster. Okay, so let's pick that up. Is that going to give us radiation, though? It looks like it, emitting very low radiation. And it can be scrapped via the repair bench. We can either consume it or drop it. I don't think I want to consume that. Oh, I tried to pick up the cafeteria tray, and we learned cushion, chest plate, water bottle, and plastic shield. And a storage crate. Okay. Oh, I guess let's drink some water. And now it's empty. Gave me the option to wash myself, too. Hello. Well, hello. Um, give me a second, buddy. We've got someone in the way that I missed. There we go. Door control module requires energy brick to repair. So I can't open the door for you. Uh, you're new. Looks like that little pest damaged the power system. Can you get someone to fix it? But hurry, would you? I'm not enjoying standing around out here. It was hours last time. I don't feel safe at all. Okay, so we gotta fix that door somehow. We've got power here, but we need something else. Hold on, let's take out... Do we have that wrench? No, I never did find a wrench, did I? What's going on in here? Broken, feel free to use as spare parts. Z. 
Okay, these are difficult to break with a knife. I'm, oh, how about this hammer? Uh, we need to drop something. Let's drop this rob. What? Hold on, actually. We have some things that we can apparently craft or get new ideas from. Let's try that. Look at that. We can craft a healing syringe. Okay, so we've got an idea for the energy brick. And it looks like I should know it now. Yes. Okay, so energy brick. That's going to require power supply, circuit board, case... Wait, should be able to get that all from this. So let me drop this raw pest for now. And let's pick up that hammer. And we're going to use that to break this stuff. Hopefully faster? No. Nope. Still takes a while. Can we shut this off? Okay, thank you. <laughs> She's getting annoying. All right, so we've got, looks like, all the stuff that we need. I just need to free up inventory space. Okay, I'm going to drop my splints, I think. And I suppose this bio scrap, too. We'll pick up the circuit board, power supply units, and case fans. And now we have all the supplies for this energy brick, but we need the crafting bench. Oh, we can craft it. Okay. Uh-oh, I dropped it. My inventory is full, I think. Yes, it is. Um, let's drop the other power supply, pick this up, and then deploy this. Can we just deploy this anywhere? What's this circle for? Can we put it... We can put it in other places, but these circles... Oh, they've got the power outlets near them. Let's just put this here for now. Need to use a screwdriver to build. Now, I didn't think about this, but I need to access that power that's behind this. Let me pick this up, and then we'll put it right here instead. Okay, now connect it. There we go. Now we can craft some new things. We've got some more ideas. Let's go ahead and try and guess them. All right, we can make a makeshift battery. Let's try the rest of these things here. All right, now we can make a makeshift backpack. Can we craft it up? Yes, we have enough stuff for it. Um, do we need to... We do need to equip it. Now we've got a little bit extra inventory space, not much. But let's look at this. We can make a barricade, the battery, boom bait, a device that emits a beeping noise to attract enemies, then a damaging detonation. We've got a repair and salvage station, storage crate. We'll probably want that, but we need some wood planks and plastic scrap. Let's go and grab this power supply and we can make that energy brick. And is there anything else we should pick up? The case fans, maybe papers and pipes. Okay, crafting up the energy brick. Now we gotta go back over here. Uh oh, hold on. Something's happening. This guy's panicking. I'm panicking. Uh. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm guessing, yeah, I don't have much time after I put the net on him. He's not like the little guys. Come on, ouch. Oh, come on. Ouch. How are you not dead? I need a better weapon. Oh, hold on. Let's use a syringe. Um, I think I used it. Oh, no, I didn't. Here we go. Okay. Uh, I think that's healing us. Oh, I'm hurting. I'm hurting. I need to craft. Hold on. No. I didn't have any... Uh, oh, I had bandages. But I needed to craft the net. Oh, no. Okay. All right. We started pretty close. Let's run back there. Looks like we kept some of our stuff. Not everything, though. Stuff in our backpack is gone. So I'm guessing we got to go pick that up. Okay, we can hopefully sneak by this guy. Please don't see us. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought he saw us. Retrieve items. He saw us. Run. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Closed door. Um, Make sure that door's closed. Okay. Oh, he can get in. Closed door. No, wrong way. Okay, um, nets, craft. 
Ouch. Bandage. He's gonna get through that door. Uh, I have nets. There we go. My knife's gonna run out before he dies. Oh my goodness. Oh, let's bandage up here. I reach level two in sharp melee. Um, let's chop him up, I guess. There's some um, raw alien drumstick and a peccary skull. Let's try and generate some ideas, I guess. Let's go back in here. Now, it's talking about my skills. Apparently, these are all my skills. That's a little bit overwhelming, but it doesn't look like we really have any points that we can use to upgrade them. I think we just upgrade naturally by doing the things, I would assume. Okay, well, that was terrifying. Okay, so apparently we can search cabinets and things like that. We can use a coffee machine to buy a coffee. I don't think I need to do that right now. We've got canned peens and salt. Or canned peas, I think. <laughs> I'm not going to repeat what I think I just said. But anyway, uh, we helped that guy through, and he's dead now. But we got a report to sector security officer. Hopefully that wasn't him. Do I, know you? I don't think so, no, Warren. I don't know what's going on. Ooh, this place is cool. Squat on a good day, and this isn't a good day. But if the big voice says, get out... I'd do what she says. Elevators are dead, so head for the main tunnel in manufacturing on level two. There's maps over there, but me, I'm staying right here. Okay, so we're here in the plaza, and we gotta go to level two. It says evacuate sector via manufacturing. Take a map, oh, here we go. Is that in our inventory, or do we just have a map now, essentially? Um, I don't know how to access the map. I tried looking in my journal. I'm not seeing much. Oh, right here. There it is. Okay, so we can pull it up at any point. It just doesn't show us where we're at. That's gonna be a problem for me. I get lost very easily. Ooh, let's pick up a screwdriver. Got another hammer, duct tape, and screwdriver. Uh, no we don't. Well, we've got two screwdrivers. Let's just hold on to these. Uh, I don't know how deep I want to go. Silo 1. Can I get through... Is this a door? I think this just goes to where I just was, right? Oh, yeah, it does. Well, hold on. Let me check out this place here. This is a massive area. Got some trees growing down here. Some water. Oh, we can wash ourselves or drink tainted water. Definitely just going to wash myself. All right, what else is going on over here? Ooh... Let's tear this box down. Hopefully we can get some cloth from it. Oh, we got wood. Uh, I do not like when that happens. But we've got giga glue and wood, but I don't have any inventory space. Oh no, Um, let's drop the raw alien drumstick. Let's eat these peas. Let's just, oh, we can repair our knife with duct tape. Let's repair that. We'll drop the peccary skull. Now we can pick up the wood planks and giga glue. So apparently we've got a new idea for pipe clubs, peccary helmet, and makeshift screwdriver. Well, I just dropped that peccary skull. Can we pick that back up? Yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna run back to my crafting station and see if I can craft anything. I'm gonna put some storage down. I just gotta remember how to get there. I think it's through here. Oh no, we can't make the small storage crate yet because we don't have plastic scrap. I don't know how to get that. Well, we can make a pipe club. Let's go ahead and craft that up. I think we need something better than this knife. Yeah, this pipe club does eight damage versus the knife that was doing three. So this should treat us a little bit better. So apparently, I think this is one of the enemies that we could potentially face is those mech things. But there's also, from what I've seen, just some crazy beasts that we come up against. Can we break through this? No. What's in there? Can't really see anything. All right. We've got a server room here, and this guy, hold on, let's try and take him out. Oh, that was an instant kill. Alright, can I get anything from here? Oh, I can get hurt. Ouch. Computer keyboard. Can we search this desk? Wait, hold on, package, 75% chance to break. So, apparently we can pick this thing up. Well, let's just try it. And I, th I think it broke. But we got some loot from it. Uh, computer here we could pick up parts from. Let's go ahead and do that.
Okay, so there's a bunch of stuff here that we can't pick up. And I'm thinking that in order to get some of these things, we need to make one of those salvage stations. Let's go back to the workbench and we'll see if we can craft that up. And then I'm guessing we might be able to get some of that like plastic scrap from some of our things. Oh no, we need the anvil and some coils. I don't know where to get an anvil from. I don't think we can craft it or anything just yet. Oh no. What happened to you, Alice? I seen death. That's that's it. That's all you're saying. Not gonna give me anything else. Can I try again. I locked it in. There. Oh, okay. Along with everyone else, we can't go this way. You don't want to. There must be another a way out. Okay. Yeah. I got. I got to go to the manufacturing. I don't. Um, I can't remember. Hold on. Data farm and kitchen. I know... Wait, no, I am supposed to go this way, actually. We are on level two. I think manufacturing is somewhere over that way. Uh, level two, reception. What do the signs say over here? What are you doing in there, buddy? Is there anything good in there? Doesn't look worth it. Manufacturing, lift access, and plaza. What's this rock? Nothing. Okay. Can you pick up anything over here? Some trays. My inventory's full. Oh, I need a storage box so bad, but I need plastic scrap. I actually did get some from that server room, so I think I just need to destroy some more things for some more plastic scrap. Oh, boy. Hold on. No, nope. Get away from me. I gotta go. Okay. Um, hold on. Let me try and craft some more nets. Don't have much more cloth to use, and I'm gonna need bandages here soon. Oh boy, okay, well, let's try and sneak up on this guy, potentially net him and destroy him. He's just patrolling this area. Maybe I don't have to attack him just yet. Let's try and get through this door. Keypad, class one clearance, requires clearance hacking. Okay, oh, he found me, okay. Uh, let's try and bash him. Ouch. He attacks as soon as he gets out of that net, so I gotta be quicker. Okay, we got him. Oh, let's keep moving. Can we search this at all? We can jump in. Guess we could hide. Oh, someone's groaning over here. Huh. Okay. The soldiers came through. They locked down manufacturing, wanted information about the silos on level three. They weren't gatekeepers. They were something else. I couldn't tell them anything. But if you can find a power cell, we can use the forklift to open the door. Get out of here. Through the surface tunnel. Okay, find someone who knows about power cells. Um, I'd rather just use this thing. Can I jump into this? Robot charging pod. The security bot is hibernating. They usually only come out at night. Oh, so is he not friendly? Is he gonna go after me if I... Oh, hello. Is he gonna go after me though if I'm here at night? What time is it? It's 4 p.m. Uh, I don't want to jump down here, right? I... I don't, right? That seems like imminent death. Here, let's destroy some of these crates, see if we can get anything from them. There's hydrochloric acid, some more giga glue. Uh, I do need giga glue, I think. You know what? We're dropping the iodine tablets. We're gonna eat this salty chips, apparently, and then I don't know if we want the anethiol or the hydrochloric acid. Leave them there for now. I don't know if they eventually disappear, but apparently we have to find someone who knows about power cells. Ah, here we go. I got some more plastic scrap. I just destroyed one of these office chairs and that's what dropped some. So I think I'm gonna destroy maybe one or two more. And then we can craft a little storage box and we can continue on with this mission.
Well, that's not great. I just fell from kind of a distance and I fractured a bone in my leg. Uh, I really wish I kept those splints now. Let's try and get back to our crafting bench. And there we go. We've got a storage crate. Let's throw pretty much everything we can in here. I'm going to hold on to the duct tape though because we're going to need that to repair some of our items. And maybe I keep the cloth scrap. We're going to need to make more nets. Okay. I found my splint. And there we go. Our limb is supported and healing, but it'll take some time. So yeah, we've got a lot of stuff going on there in the bottom left. Uh, looks like we are still injured. We're thirsty. We're tired. I don't know how to sleep. Can we sleep on the bed? Oh, we can lie down or just sit. Let's go ahead and lie down. Oh, that passes time. And <laughs> we're dreaming. And it's a little mini game. Okay, every time that we jump, we raise the sun a little bit. That TV turned back on too. Okay, so is it daytime now? No, it's 6.50 p.m. Okay, sure. Um, I'm thirsty. I don't think I have any water on me. Let's go back to the cafeteria and get something to drink. And there we go. We got a Vit, a great flavored soda. Let's go ahead and consume that. And then let's see where we're at over here. Thirst is about half. Hunger is about half. And we're mostly okay. Maybe I get one more drink. We only have so much money. I think I had $5 to start, and I think I've spent like four of it. So... We can't really rely on the vending machines going forward unless we find some more cash. And now just looking at some of the things that we can craft, we can craft a bed now that requires wood cloth and a big packaged couch. So that might be a little bit difficult because of the fact that when you try and pick those up right now, I have a 75% chance of breaking it. And I'm guessing the more that we do it, the less likely we'll break it. Good evening. It is 8 p.m. This sector will be powered down momentarily. Oh no. If you have not already evacuated the facility, consider this your top priority. Well, I can't really evacuate. I have nowhere to go. Um, here, let's go inside. I don't know what's going to happen at night. This is all going to turn off, I assume. Um, hold on. I think we might be able to craft a torch. I think that's one thing that I was able to unlock. Here we go, a wall torch. We need some pipes, glass scrap, and tech scrap. I think I have the stuff for that. Tech scrap, uh, pipes, and what was the last thing? We needed glass. I don't have any glass. Um, shoot. Can we break something for glass? Can we break this TV? No. Um, we can go in here. We Oh, we were already here. I need to find something with glass to break. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're shutting down. Let's get inside here. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to expect. Here, yeah, right, let's close all of the doors. Let's take out our flashlight. <laughs> and I'm uncomfortably cold, so I guess the heat powers down at night too. Or at least they turn it down. Yeah, it's 10 p.m. And I, I don't know what to expect. Does it get more dangerous? Do the creatures come out at night? We know those security bots come out. Yeah, I don't think I want to deal with them. And this flashlight doesn't do a whole lot of good out here. I wonder if we can try and sleep through the night. I'm gonna try and do that. Let's go back to our bed. All right, well, I tried to sleep. It wasn't really doing anything. So I guess we're gonna explore at night. This is terrifying. I, 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 it's so dark. I'm gonna try and find some glass. Tram B side. Whoops. I just ran off of a ledge. Uh, <laughs> just ran off of a ledge and I think I, yeah, I lost everything in my backpack. Oh, great. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get my stuff back because I fell off of something, but unless, oh, my stuff is up on top there. Okay, so I think I can go get it. I just gotta go around. All right, got all my stuff back. What I'm gonna do is I, I guess I'm gonna kind of wait the night out and then I'm gonna keep doing some exploration. I'll probably try and progress a little bit because I really wanna see what this has to offer in terms of crafting and fighting the enemies and things like that. And I wanna see kind of what barriers and things that we can really build and ultimately just try and make our little home out here. Right now I'm in the security office. It seems like an okay spot, but maybe we'll find a better area and make our home there.
All right, guys, so really quick update. I've been kind of exploring and finding some really interesting things. And I actually unlocked a bunch of new recipes and things that we can craft. And right now, you can probably tell I'm in a giant office area. And this place is absolutely loaded with resources. There's a bunch of furniture, a bunch of computers, a bunch of these storage cabinets. And they have a bunch of, bunch of small little things like paper scraps, things like that. But they also have rubber band balls, which I needed that for something that I can't remember offhand. And they also have cash in them every once in a while. So I'm up to six bucks. So we're kind of rolling in the dough right now. But what I need to do right now is eat a little bit of food because apparently I'm really hungry and I'm really tired. Uh, so maybe I try and rest a little bit. Okay, I'm back awake. I feel rested. Oh, there's enemies up here. I'm gonna have to take this guy out. I've pretty much been fighting all of them. It's kind of expensive on my resources, but I, it's so hard to get around these guys. My sneak is not great. And so I've just been fighting them. And it's been going mostly okay. Ouch, until that happens. Okay, uh, we are bleeding. Let's go ahead and use a bandage quick. Yeah, I haven't died in a little while, so that's a good sign. I've just mostly been looting and things like that. I, I haven't found the person that I'm supposed to find to talk about power cells. But what I, Ow, 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 ow! What is this thing? Stop! Stomp! Oh my goodness. Carbuncle? Collect. Uh, raw carbuncle. I'm not gonna pick that up. Well, maybe I am, actually. Maybe I can learn new recipes. Yeah, the carbuncle crown in a vacuum? Why in the world would I need a vacuum? Uh, that's another thing is like I said, I've been learning some crafting recipes. Hold on Okay, I've been learning some crafting recipes. There is a ton a bunch of random stuff It seems like a lot of things that we can use to set up a little base and protect ourselves for I think potential onslaughts of enemies We can craft things like heaters. Uh, there's a lever. I don't know what I can use that for we can make garden plots so I really want to try that out if I can. Good evening. And there is a makeshift crossbow that we can make. Oh, that's what I needed the rubber ball for. Um, that's not great. I'm not really in a position to get back home. Well, what I set up as home is that little security office. So I might have to wait out the night in this office area. Not without looting everything that I can. Um, can we make this jump though? Yes, we can. Can we actually get anywhere with it? Yes, we can. Um, I don't have a flashlight, so it's really dark in here. Oh, come on. There we go. I can't see anything. Uh, I don't really want to break those. Gonna have to break through here, though. Let's pick up all this stuff. And I think I want to make my way back to our little home camp. But the thing is, is I have no clue how to get back. I'm, I'm running in random areas right now, as you might be able to tell. I uh, don't really need another hammer. I'll drop the one that's used. Um, yeah, I'm just running to random places. There's a pool here. Can we jump in there without getting hurt? We're definitely going to try. Oh. oh, yeah, we're good. Okay, we can swim. All right, let's keep moving there. I'm going to grab this first aid, whatever's in there. And what's in here? Some more office stuff and one of these guys. Did I break this glass? I did. Oh, we can break the windows. I didn't realize that. I think some of the windows we can't. I think they're kind of like enforced glass, but it looks like some that we actually can destroy. What is this? Karate helmet? Here, let me get rid of the chef's helmet. Can we just, oh, we gotta drop something here. There we go, I stacked some of my nets. Karate helmet, and let's put that bad boy on. That gives us two armor and makes getting punched in the head suck slightly less. Okay. Well, looks like the lights are out and I don't have a flashlight. So I think I'm gonna wait it out here in the pool area and hope nothing comes searching for us. Okay, it's daytime. I just sat there staring at my watch for several hours, but we're back up and running. And I think we need to get back to our little home base. Or I guess I can just craft a workbench anywhere near a power socket. But you know what? I just realized we were right next to our home the entire time. I was just up one level and it's all right down here. Okay, well, that's good because we have all of our stored stuff in the security room anyway. 
Here we go. Okay, I think I'm able to get to level three, which is where the power cells are. Oh boy, hold on. We're gonna have to take this guy out. No way I can sneak by him. All right, let's go, buddy. Okay, I think we're getting a little bit stronger. The more we melee, the more strong I guess we get. Uh, do we use this lift or... Yeah, it looks like level three is that way. What is this, manufacturing west? Let's try and use the lift here. Okay. Level three. Oh, what is this place? Oh. So, I guess this is what they've been working on. This is probably why all the monsters are around, I would assume. Oh, this does not look like a good scene. Not at all. You got an email. Any news? Something, something, something. Not my problem. Okay. I'm not going to read all that just for the sake of time. But this looks interesting. I'm going to grab some of that, that... Uh, anything else to loot? Oh, here we go. Cascade. Uh, take Ida. I don't, I don't know what any of that means. What does this thing do? Oh! <gasps> whoa. Whoa. Antiverse 2. Alright, this is something I did not expect. What in the world is this place? Antiverse Wheat. Pick that up. Oh, boy. That guy doesn't look friendly at all. I don't think I'm prepared. I probably should have went back and made a crossbow for this guy. You know what? Let's go and do that. All right, we've got everything we need for the crossbow, so let's make that bad boy. And then we need some bolts for it. And for that, we need pens and metal scrap. I'm pretty sure we've got quite a bit of both of those. We got nine pens and 11 metal scrap. Let's go ahead and just make as much as we can here. Oh wait, hold on. Inventory full? Oh no, they were making eight at a time. Uh, shoot. Here, let's throw everything we don't need in here. Unload whatever we don't need in there. Pick up all the bolts. And how many do we have? More than enough. We've got 48 total. Let's throw- oh, I don't have any more space in my two small uh, storage boxes. Well, we're going in with 48 bolts. And let's make sure we equip that too. Alright, let's go back and go into the Antiverse, I guess, and see what happens. Alright, we're back. We've got our crossbow. Uh, we only have one bandage. Let me try and craft up any that I can. Just make a couple. Let's make some nets. And, well, let's see how this goes. I'm gonna try and creep up on him. What are you shooting at, buddy? Oh, boy. I didn't expect that. Ouch. Uh, oh, shoot. I gotta reload this thing first. Uh. Oh, no. Oh, get out of here. Okay, I don't think I'm even hitting him. Oh, he's so fast. I am underprepared. Oh, no. Hold on, let's use this. Heal, heal, heal. Use a bandage. Okay, I gotta use these trees or whatever they are to my advantage. Oh, no. Okay, looks like we can respawn right next to the portal. And we're doing it. Oh, gosh. That's not good. I gotta go get my stuff and try and fight this guy. Oh, no. Retrieve. Reload. Okay, I'm hitting him. I don't know how much damage I'm doing. And I don't think I can really even aim this thing. I just have to shoot from the hip. Where'd he go? Did I kill him? Oh, I killed him. Oh my goodness. Uh, can I chop him up at all? I can. All right, what'd you drop? Raw alien drumstick and raw exer heart. 
get some more wheat. Can I get these plants? It doesn't look like it. I think there's some radiation out here. What is this? Can't seem to interact. Oh, it's a power station. Um, well, looks like I'm going this way. I don't think I have any iodine tablets on me either, no. So I don't know how far into this we can get. Oh boy, there's another one. And I missed. He doesn't know. And I missed again. Oh, this is so inaccurate. There we hit him. Oh, there we go. All right, we're going to keep moving. I don't know how long I can stay in here with this radiation, but there's another portal right here. Um, I don't know. I guess we just go in it. doesn't seem like... Wait, this is... No, this isn't the portal we came in. There's a man here. Dr. Derek Mans reporting. Research Director, Gate Cascade Research Facility. Antiverse 2 is an enigma. A world made of worlds. Each of them different, yet seeded with similar life. We know a few certain facts. That energy moves more slowly there, making growth, evolution, and change a more gradual process. We know, too, that materials transplanted from Antiverse B to our own are energy dense. Biochemistry occurs much more rapidly. But how did these creatures evolve? The presence of life, complex life, confounds everything we know about evolution. Was an external force involved? Only further study can tell us. All right. Well, he didn't really give me much information there other than the fact that uh, apparently we're just in another universe. Something like that. That's that's all I got from it. And my guess is they're going to be trying to use whatever power they can harness from this world back in the real world. But either way, I guess let's jump back into the portal. And I am on some pipes. Some high voltage electricity underneath me that it looks like someone else had already succumbed to. Well, let's jump down. Ooh, that hurt. Let's try and take this guy out. Okay, now I have no clue where I'm at. Break room, silo three viewing. Let's pick up some books, some tech scrap. What is this? It's another basic backpack. I actually already have one on me. I picked it up a while ago after I crafted the original one. And this one gives us a little bit more inventory space. Okay, I just heard something behind silo three. Uh, this damn security door. Someone's here. Oh, there's a woman. Hello. It's Dr. Mayfield. It. The systems locked us out, but I'm not leaving without my data. I could lose everything. I had an idea. I worked on the security bots. Their CPUs store access codes. If we salvaged some, we could make something to hack the door. What do you think? Ah, interesting. So those security bots, apparently we can salvage them and that's how we can hack. And we just learned a bunch of new ideas. So I can't get through here. I need, insufficient. yeah, I got you. I need to figure out how to salvage those bots. But apparently we're taking the elevator. I think we're going down. Oh, here we go. That brought us down to level two. Okay. Before I tried using this elevator and it did not work, but apparently it does now. I just had to activate it, I guess, from the third level. Let's get back to our little home in the security room and just see what else we can kind of craft together. All right, we made it home. We've sustained some injuries. Our TV keeps turning on, but we're here. Now, I want to try and start a little farm. I don't know what it is, or a little garden, you know, indoors here. So we need wood planks, hose, a soil bag, and plastic scrap. I learned the soil bag, and I think I even have some, or at least I can craft some. So let's grab some planks, some hose, and then, yeah, I've got five soil bags. Yeah, I found these ones around. So let's go ahead, craft the max amount. Okay, not the max. We can craft two. I think that'll do for now. Now the thing is, is I need some seeds for our little garden. Here, let's try and offload some things here. Pick that up. Now let's see, can we deploy it in here? We can. Let's put it next to the TV that won't shut off permanently. There we go. Now we need clean water as well. Oh, you know what? I can craft up a water bottle, I believe. Okay, so we've got a water bottle, but I need to be able to fill it. 
And I, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go search for that kitchen because I saw some tomato seeds in there. And I'm hoping we can find some water along the way. Ah, here we go. We've got some water. Let's go ahead, fill water bottle. And then can I... Here, let me just drink this water because we're thirsty right now. Let's just fill ourselves all the way up. There we go. And refill the water. Now, I need to find that darn kitchen. Oh, wait a minute. We can actually repair this kitchen stove and use it. We need reinforced hose, which I definitely don't have. I just have regular hose. Oh, tomato. I'll take that. Apparently, we can make a super tomato seed. But I know I'm getting distracted. Here's one of these bots. Can we destroy this? It's hibernating usually comes out and we can destroy it. Oh, that was a bad idea. Okay, I did not expect it to come alive. Uh, crossbow. Okay, I figured they came out at night. Wait, he, okay, he is looking for me. Um, let's see if I can take him out. He is not fast at all. I'm, ouch. Oh my gosh, stomp. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ow. Please stop. You guys are an absolute nuisance. Okay. Let's try and reload this. He's still coming for us. And there's another one of those tiny things. Okay, I'm putting so many crossbow bolts into him. I, I don't think I'm taking this guy down. I figure just destroying him in his pod would give us what we need, but that does not seem to be the case at all. How many bolts do I have? I have 11 left. And I feel like he's cornering me at this point. Oh, no, I actually am cornered. Okay, that did some decent damage. I might have to jump down here. Yeah, you come up the stairs. I go down. Okay. Come on, man. You need to go down. Oh, no. Come on, jump over this. I can't. Okay. Yeah, they're fighting. That's actually super cool. That distracts him enough to where I can get behind him here. You know what? I only have... Oh, I only have one crossbolt left. Um, yeah, I'm going to let him go. He's not looking for me. This beast distracted him enough. I need to go find that darn kitchen. All right, well, the lights are out. I'm just getting back in my security office here, and I think I'm going to wait the night out. I need to sleep anyway. And by the way, I was able to make a wall torch. So we do have some light in here, and it doesn't look like it needs to be recharged or have a battery or anything like that, so that's good. But I'm resting for the night. Well, we just got a notification that the air feels strange. Be on guard tonight. That doesn't make me feel good at all. But I need to find some iodine pills here because apparently I was holding on to a couple radiated devices or parts from those animals and they were giving me radiation poisoning. But I think I'm good now. All right, now before we go anywhere else, now because we've got that weird warning, I'm gonna see what kind of makeshift defenses that we can make. It's a computation brick controller. I don't need to learn those. What about the chopinator? We need energy bricks, oil and metal pipes. Now I swear there was some kind of like barricades that we could make. I might be missing it, I don't remember. We can make a platform cart for carrying large amounts of goods from one place to another. So I guess if we ever want to pick up and transfer our base. Ooh, what about this, a shock trap? We need a coil and energy brick. We need to make energy bricks. Um, What do we need for that? Power supply, circuit boards, case fan, and tech scrap. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't have any more power. Oh, I have one power supply. So let's go ahead and craft the energy brick. And then what else do we need? Pipes and oil. I think I've got both of those things. Uh, nothing in that one. Oil and pipes. There we go. Okay, let's make the chopinator. Now I just realized we're probably going to need a battery to power that thing, aren't we? Well, let's try and place it down. Um, Let's see here. We can put it in the range of one of these plugs, but it's gonna shut down at night. That's the thing. Well, I don't know. Do we just put it right by our door here? And then try and plug it in right here. And there it goes. So I'm guessing anything that runs into that, uh, will that include me? Oh, okay, no, we're good. <laughs> I had to try it. But anything that runs into that should get kind of get chopped up. Um, What does it need for the battery? Another energy brick, of course, and coils. Um. Shoot, let's try and find some computers, get some power supplies, extra stuff. 
and see what we can craft. All right, we've got enough for the makeshift battery now. Uh, let's go ahead, deploy, wait a minute, showing an empty bar underneath it. A uh, small battery that can provide incoming electricity when none is available. Now there's recharging stations around yeah. here too. I need to find one. I need to find one before tonight. It's only 1.20 p.m. Oh, right here. Uh, let's see. Can we try this? Place battery. We put it here? No. Okay, I don't know how to get that to work. What I'm going to try and do is see if I can plug this thing into the wall and see if that does anything. Oh, it disconnects the fan. Shoot. Okay, well, let's try it. Does it show a little bar or anything on it showing its status? Doesn't really. Oh, but I can connect something else to this. Huh. Maybe it's the coils on top that tell me where it's at in terms of how much electricity is stored. I don't know. I'll, I'll just wait and see. Right now, it's on the very bottom ring. There's only one light on each of them. So, oh. Okay. That thing does hurt you. Lesson learned. Well, unfortunately, I cannot find those tomato seeds because I can't find that giant kitchen anywhere. So I might just kind of have to wait out the night and see what kind of <laughs> surprises we get. I'll try and do some searching for it, but this place is so big. It is so confusing that I just don't know where in the world it is. I, I do have... A bit I, I got, hungry? I'm talking here. Uh, I do have this map. But it's not showing me anything that is relevant to me. Oh! Oh my goodness! I'm in it! I... <laughs> right after I said that, I pretty much walked right into the room. But now I've got an inventory that's full. Uh, let's drop this paper. And I accidentally picked up a small trash can. But we've got the tomato seeds here. So let's grab both of these. I think that was it. Maybe there's another package? Yeah, right here. Okay. Now let's go back. We'll start our little garden. And we've got our water yet, and, well, we'll see what happens. All right, can we plant them in here? Yes, we can. Oh, look at that. Let's go ahead and water them. And I just drank the water instead. Clean water must be added for plants to grow. Oh, here we go. Now I can. I had to get the angle right. And let's try and water this one, too. There we go. Now we got our own little garden inside the, the little break room for the security guys and yeah i think i'm just gonna wait out the night and see what that has to offer all right here we go lights just went out let's check our uh, spinning thing over here it's still on and it looks like yeah the battery is charged hey, i don't know if that means halfway or, I don't know. I think it's full charge, I'm assuming. Uh, but now I don't know what to expect. I did craft a new weapon here, the Teeth Club, but apparently, if we hover over it, it says I'm not strong enough to use the weapon effectively. So we can still use it, but I don't think it's really going to do any damage. And I still have my crossbow with one bolt in it. Oh boy, yeah, it's saying the air feels different. Uh, yeah, I only have one bolt for this. I didn't have any more metal scrap to make more, so we just have this pipe wrench melee thing. So it's probably it's probably gonna go great, like really, <laughs> really good. A portal storm has started. What does that mean? Uh oh, I heard something. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Do I have a flashlight on me? But. The little bug guy just splattered in that machine out there. Let's try and see if we can get a little show going here. Oh yeah, it's working like a charm. I think they're attracted to that blade thing. I'm guessing since this is the first night, we're really only gonna get the small guys. Eventually it's probably gonna... Oh yeah, it's done. I think there might be one left. Yeah, right here. See ya, buddy. Yeah, and it looks like the battery's draining. But yeah, for the first night, obviously, gonna be nice and easy. Nothing crazy. I'm glad I had that trap, because then I didn't have to do anything. So, that's pretty nice. Now, just looking at our tomato plants here, it doesn't look like they've really grown at all. I don't know if I need more water for them or what. But I'm gonna let them sit, 
see if they grow any further and just see how that goes. But I'm gonna call it here. I don't think I've even scratched the surface of this demo. There seems like there's a lot more to do, a lot more to explore. This almost feels like a whole game because I've been playing for like three hours now and we're only just getting started. So yeah, let me know if you guys wanna see another episode. I'm not sure when this one releases. I'll throw it up on screen if I find that out, but I've been having fun. Seems like it's a combination of different survival games thrown in with a, a interesting storyline and apparently a portal to another universe or another world. Um, and I'm really excited to actually check this one out and dive a little bit deeper. So if you guys want to see some more, let me know. Throw a like on the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see some more. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you all in the next one. Later.